we have just started a new decade. And if you reflect back on the last decade, we began that just entering into this concept of precision medicine in GI cancers and colorectal cancer. We did not know about RAS or MSI or all of those basic targets that we now incorporate. And if you flash forward to today, what we are seeing more and more of is broad molecular profiling. We've gone away from the sort of oligo test where you do RAS and BRAF and HER2 to now testing much more broadly. And so that requires new technology such as next-gen sequencing. So it's no longer really being run in our labs in our basements. We are more and more partnering with different companies, different laboratories to perform this testing. And with that has come what I will say is an increased knowledge gap. So we as oncologists are busy. We're not keeping track of all of this new technology. And so it's incredibly important for us to pause a second and look at the new technology going from single gene mutations now to panels of next-gen sequencing. MRD is the concept of minimal residual disease or molecularly defined residual disease. In patients, for instance, after resection of solid tumors, when we do not have any evidence of macroscopic disease by scans, but we might suspect that patients have residual cancer cells in their body, the idea of a micrometastatic disease, and we now use uh, technologies like ctDNA, circulating tumor DNA, or methylation markers of DNA to detect subclinical clones, you know, that would predict a higher rate of recurrence in patients with solid tumors. The idea of minimal residual disease is actually not new. It has been around in hematologic disease for quite some time. BCR able in chronic myelogenous leukemia, certain subclones of lymphomas, etc., have been detected in hematologic disease for quite some time and have actually been used as treatment guidance markers uh, in these diseases. So the concept of MRD in solid tumors is new and really goes along with the idea that we we have technologies now that can detect this molecular residual or minimal residual disease. When one thinks about the different tests that are out there, one is to inform a therapy or to be prognostic, so predictive or prognostic for a particular therapy. The classic is RAS mutations for EGFR therapy or microsatellite instability for checkpoint inhibition. We need to know those tests for a specific therapy. What we're now seeing is a newer technology using something called circulating tumor DNA or ctDNA. And this is basically DNA that's shed from dying cells. And we can detect the presence or absence of cancer DNA. And so this is uh, really kind of cool. So right now, what do we do? We do CAT scans. Maybe we do CEA blood tests to determine if a patient still has cancer or not. And it's a very coarse measure. The ctDNA is a much more refined measure where if we can detect still persistent circulating DNA from a tumor, we know that that patient, regardless of what the scan shows, still has cancer. So this is different from saying, okay, you have a RAS mutation or not. This is basically saying you still have cancer or not. We are used to now doing more next generation sequencing, again, to find targets for our cancer therapies. What MRD is, is essentially genetic testing. It's the same basic test, but it is looking at different mutations, not necessarily ones that we are going to use as therapeutic targets. It's just genes that are broken within the cancer that aren't broken within the normal human. And by detecting them, we can just tell you yes or no that there's minimal residual disease. It doesn't further characterize the cancer or its nature, its mutations, like you get with next generation sequencing. So an important point about this is that you talk about whether the circulating tumor DNA was informed by the tumor. So if I'm just looking for DNA, if I don't really know what's abnormal, I can't tell you whether cancer is there or not. So the best testing is when next generation sequencing is done on the tumor and then using those broken genes to look for what's circulating, right? So now I know what I'm fishing for. 
And if I find the presence or absence of those genes, I can tell you whether cancer's there or not. These two tests are used in completely different scenarios, right? So next generation sequencing or any molecular profile of the tumor is really all about trying to uncover the secrets of that individual patient's tumor so you can make predictive and prognostic decisions. MRD, or just presence or absence of ctDNA in the circulation, is a yes-no. It's like doing a CAT scan in some ways. How's the cancer? Is it good or bad? And so the ctDNA is more of a measure of the current state, whereas next generation sequencing, a totally separate test, or molecular profiling in general, totally separate test, to understand what therapies to offer a patient.